everyone, this is Chris Burns from AndroidCommunity.com. We're taking a look at the brand new Samsung uh, T-Mobile Sidekick. This is a phone that will work uh, to impress both you uh, who are working with Android now and those of you who would uh, be comfortable using the Sidekick in the past. This is a phone that will be fami very familiar to those of you who use the Sidekick. As you can see, there's a new logo on the back. But it also has T-Mobile, Samsung. It's very obviously a cross-branded product here. We're going to go look. We're going to begin right here in the uh, settings, so you can see that it is very obviously an Android product. Uh, you can see all the same things that you'd normally be looking at. We're going to go into About Phones, so I can just show you one of the things that's very different. Is it shows the build number it says Froyo, uh, and the firmware version 2.2.1. The word Android isn't in here. That's very interesting. Um, but, you know, for those of you who use Android, it's very familiar in most of the things about it. Now, I'm going to back out to the, the, the front of the phone once I get into this other very interesting piece. Uh, as you know, when you're using Android, you can customize. A lot of things that you work with Android, friends, that you can customize, uh, but based on uh, apps that you can go download. This one comes with custom theme settings. Uh, if we go in here, like here, you can see it comes with several very bright, uh, insane different settings you can have here. Uh, we're going to go straight over to, let's go ahead and go to Funkylicious. And it should go right out to the front. And there you have it. Uh, this screen, obviously, it turns. It turns like that. Um, and I'll, let me put it back down so you can see that pop out again. Now, it pops out very easily. Uh, the hinge is very much made to be one way or another. This isn't this isn't the sort of phone where you will be, you know, having it halfway up or down. Uh, you're supposed to be using it either for messaging or for using it straight up and down like this to go to places like Facebook and such. Uh, immediately you'll see that there's several different places you can go, contacts, apps, or phone. Now, phone is something that isn't all that often seen on Android except for out of an app. Now, when you are looking through these screens, you can see that it's, uh, once again, very much an Android device, but right, right when you realize that there's um, things like you go to apps, it's again, it's got very obviously has a T-Mobile uh, user interface uh, blocked over it. Uh, here's another unique bit is the cloud texting. This isn't active yet because they don't have it uh, ready for us to take a peek at yet, but this is the sort of thing that you're going to be able to text from all your different devices. You're going to be able to go through your web, your laptop, your tablet, and the sidekick, obviously. Um, let's go back out here again. Your contacts are very integrated into the system. We have to look at that a little bit. Go to groups, or history. Oops, let's back out here. Oops. History, updates. Now, a lot of these things aren't going to be very active because this phone isn't actually uh, ready to go out the gate quite yet. But um, beyond that, it's basically an Android powered phone made to message. We're taking a look at the hardware here. Uh, what, what the difference is between these two models is very uh, a small amount of difference. Inside the machines, they're going to be basically exactly the same. But um, once you flip them out, you'll see that uh, you flip them backwards, and they're just a little bit different with the color. Now, um, this model is very obviously uh, you know, aimed at the more feminine side. This is a slightly more masculine side, but these, these phones are both uh, very obviously meant for unisex, which is very new to Android. Uh, one of the things that's happened with Android as of late, especially with the things like the Zoom, is that people are deciding that it's aimed mostly at uh, you know young males, such as you know myself. Um, one of the things you'll notice here is once you get into things like apps, uh, there is a custom UI here, but um, you're going to be able to go. Uh, let's back out here for a second here. Go into contacts and settings. Here's the thing that you'll see is it very obviously shows off T-Mobile's uh, new user interface here. It shows uh, these main settings, contacts, Google search gallery, cloud texting, phone, settings, media hub, and market. Um, it's very obviously directing you in a certain direction 
as far as how you're going to use the device. Now, something that's happened with Android as of late is it's gotten to a point where anyone who purchases a phone immediately takes it back apart and uses something like ADW uh, to make it their own. Now, what T-Mobile is sort of saying here is that you don't need to make it your own because we've already made it your own for you. Uh, you're very obviously buying a sidekick here. Now, um, you can see this is meant to be held like this, quite obviously. Even when you close it, it's, you know, it's not meant to be this way or this way. It's meant to be this way. Um, you can check out the camera, uh, a couple of the buttons here. This is the uh, place where you'll pop in the USB. Uh, here's the camera button. There's a dedicated camera button here. Uh, the camera is right here, so you'll, be have to, you'll have to hold it something like this to pop that out working. Uh, you're not going to be able to, it won't make sense to use this to take photos with it. Um, but, you know, you have to say, okay, this is one of the things where we're not going to be able to use it because it's not quite ready to go yet. But, you know, you can get around like this, flip up and down like that. And it's very obviously made to be held very comfortably like this. There you have it.